This is page 31 in the Red Book, Brahms Lullaby, a nice little song that has a lot of different fingering. So let's take a look at the fingering first, uh, and then we'll play the song through a couple of times. Now the right, uh, left hand, uh, we start with the C major position, which puts our little finger down here and our thumb on the G, and it pretty much uses the normal C major position. But if we look down at line 3, measure 2, we see that the thumb will go up and play the A, which is higher than where it normally would play. We'll go up and play the A, both on the uh, third line, uh, second measure, and the fourth line, second measure. But outside of that, the left hand is pretty normal. Now, the right hand has a number of different positions, so let's start looking at them in measure 1. We see that our right thumb is on the E, and in measure two, the two finger is going to play the G. Now, normally the two finger would play the F, but it's going to play the G. So we go la 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 like that, up on the G. And good night. Then, if we look at the end of measure three and the first note in measure four, we will notice that we extend our little finger up to the C. So we go go to bed. So that we're up on high C. You can highly fit into the on the camera. Five, four, three, three, two. Now I'm down in the first measure on the second line. And we see we now move the thumb down to the D. And it will stay down on the D for the rest of the second line. You go close your eyes and start to run. Now we're in measure three on the second line and measure three and measure four, we have some really different fingering numbers. So watch this. We go one, pleasant, and one, two, five, up on the B. But then we play three, two, four on the B again. And then on the first measure of the third line, the word done, we play high C with our little finger. Then the next two notes of that measure, the thumb plays when the, then the sun is back up here on the high. Now that's a, a whole octave, eight notes apart. So you might have a little trouble with that reach. So just lift your thumb and reach up and place your little finger on the C. And then in the second measure of the third line, we go three, one, five. Now isn't that interesting? that our five finger plays right next to our thumb. Five, three, one. Now in the last measure of line three, now the three finger plays on the F. Three, four, five, four. Now I'm on the first measure of the last line. Start the day up here on high C. Three, one, five. Three, one, four, three, two, one. All right, now I'm going to play the song through a couple of times. I'll say the finger numbers of the right hand, then I'll say the timing, and then I'll sing the words. One, one, two. One, one, two. One, two, five, four, three, four, three. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. One, two, five, three, two, four, five. One, one, five, three, one, five, three, one, three, four, five, four. One, one, five, three, one, five, three, one, four, two, one.
lullaby and good night. Go to bed now and sleep tight. Close your eyes and start to yawn. Cause your dreams until the dawn. When the sun lights the day, you will wake feeling spry. That's the day with a smile. Life is really worthwhile. I suggest learning each hand separately first, then try to do one line at a time, putting both hands together, and you'll be able to master this song.